Hey guys and welcome back to another video and today to take a closer look at this gadget which I believe to be almost essential on everyone's home which is a smart smoke detector which besides doing its own thing it also speaks Chinese So here we are back with the smart smoke detector now guys before we start testing it out and showing you the features and also not trying to set my studio on fire but we will test everything here live with you guys i would just like to mention that i've been using uh, for the past few years a uh, few smoke detectors which are not smart and what that means is that very similar to this uh, kind of detector but if it detects smoke it will fire the alarm which is very loud but the only person hearing that alarm is someone locally the difference between this and the other fire alarms that i've got is that this one besides sounding here at the home it will send me a notification to the phone which i can react to it and then call the fire station check out my web cameras if anything is happening or not and things like that and one thing that we have to have in mind is that if there's smoke there's already fire and if there's fire there's already damage but if i don't react to it the only way to get notice is that if the fire goes really large and then someone outside the house will notice it and then call the authorities but by then probably it's too late and with one of these smart things it can prevent that huge damage to happen and if i get alerted i can react a lot faster and probably instead of having the whole house uh, damaged i will only have hopefully one room and this is one of those things that we will pray not to fire not to give us an alarm but in just the worst case scenario it's there and we just need to make sure that it works when it's there and with that long intro talking a little bit about it guys this is a very small unit very compact and looks good when we put it on the ceiling which is what i'm going to do when i finish this video i'm going to put it on my office ceiling so this will be the first division of the home that will have one of these i will also add one to the kitchen and one to the basement later on because i really enjoy the way that this guy works and it's really well made i do believe at least in my opinion it speaks chinese i don't understand what it says but the important is that it gives me the alarm now there is two ways of mounting i can use screws that are included but i can also use some stickers that come included and for this thing to work we will need to power it with a battery which i will show you on screen but it's the cr 123 a and by the way guys we will need something for this to work which is a gateway this doesn't work on its own we will need the xiaomi gateway which is this device that i've got right over here and for those of you that already have the xiaomi gateway you know that there's a lot of potential with this gateway we can connect to a lot of devices alarms web cameras and so on and so forth and this is just another device that we can connect now we can get it on its own and then just connect as many smoke detectors that we want or we can connect it on a kit which already brings cameras and alarms and so on and so forth and then get the smoke detector or as many smoke detectors that we need and then just connect to the gateway and it will work now regarding the setup it's really easy although the manual is in chinese and so on and so forth we will open the xiaomi uh, home app and there we will find uh, devices that we can add one of them is this smoke detector and once we had it we just need to define a few settings there are settings which are interesting there are three levels of intensity i can choose a non-smoking area and then a medium and a smoking area like a kitchen so the detector will become more sensitive or less sensitive depending on the choice that we do and there are several other uh, settings right over there but nothing that huge now the way that it works is that the gateway is connected to my home network and then this device is connected to the gateway so I can access any device connected to the Xiaomi gateway using any phone iOS 
or Android. And that's about it, guys. Once we have connected, there is one way of testing it out, which is to press this button as you saw in the intro. And the gateway will say something that I don't understand, but I believe that is something similar to everything is okay. I'm not really sure, just guessing. And that is it. Finally, all we need to do is to test it out before placing anywhere because this is one of those devices, as I said, we pray not to work, but if it needs to work, it has to, to prevent bigger damages. And what I'm going to do right now with you guys is I'm going to put the gateway right over here. I'm also going to put my fire extinguisher right over here, just as a precaution. And I'm going to place, as it is right over here, a piece of paper. We are going to burn it and we are going to see how this works before we do because i will need to uh, put it off and so on and take it outside because of the smell i just want to briefly explain what's going to happen before it does now what i'm going to do is i'm going to put fire here on this piece of paper there will be smoke this smoke detector will take a few seconds and it will detect after that this device will emit a sound i will apologize in advance if you are using headphones so just turn the volume down because my microphone will captured the sound and the sound will be higher and higher for about five seconds or so until it reaches the maximum. I'm not sure of the decibels, but I will leave a link down below so that you guys can take a look at the specifications. What I can say is that everyone at the house will be alerted and probably my neighbors too. But once the alarm is off, the gateway will also emit a sound, a lower sound, the lights will blink and I will also receive at the same time a notification on my phone, which I believe to be the most useful app. Now my phone is on silent, so we will not hear the notification arriving, but I will show you guys how it works. And after all this explanation with no surprises, let's go for it. Everything is planned. So let's put some fire here to this paper. And there we go, we have fire and we have a little bit of smoke. A lot of smoke. So now I just resetted the alarm and I can turn it back on. And we still have some smoke here, but as you guys saw, uh, as soon as I took it off the smoke, this one particular unit right over here stopped um, emitting the sound. And now it's, it's doing it again because it's still sensing So it's still sensing um, some smoke coming out of the paper. It did just release the alarm once again. And I'm not sure if this small smoke now it's enough or not, but we will check it out. There we go. Once again.
And that is it guys. Hopefully this video was helpful to show you how this uh, smart device works. It works really well. We have, as I said, three levels of intensity at the moment is at the middle, so we can get it a little bit more sensitive, which is what I'm going to do uh, to get it a little bit faster in terms of smoke detection. But I'm really happy how it works and especially as I said receiving a notification on the phone which will lead me to react to something that is going on at home and that is it hopefully this video was helpful and if it was don't forget that usual thumbs up my name is Roberto George and as always I'll see you guys on the next one